I was buying some electronic parts on AliExpress, but my web browser cookies took me in a different direction. For about $48 ship, you get this knockoff Lego Technic set. So, is it any good? Now, if you're like me, part of your 401k is sitting on a mix of stocks, spawns, and complete inbox Lego sets from the early 1990s and 2000s. So, why mess with bootleg Legos? Well, temptation really, and they're leaps better than the mega blocks you remember. Also, LEGO opened up a factory in China in 2016, so it's possible the injection molding tooling got legs and walked to another warehouse, but I don't know. This fake Lambo is based on the LEGO Technic Lamborghini Sion FKP37, which is priced for people with too much money, really. The licensed Lamborghini name doesn't help this case, but here we have the inception of this set. This is the reason why it exists. This official set has almost 3,700 pieces, where this bootleg has around 1,300, so about one-third the pieces. It's missing a lot of the functioning mini features like the disc brakes, the V12 piston engine, and so on, but at one-fifth the cost, this is expected. Starting with the manual, it's very well illustrated, thick, full color, and detailed. Most of the very helpful callouts are here, like one-to-one -one scale diagrams of long bricks that are hard to distinguish from others without counting the holes. These diagrams of various 22 and a half and 45 degree brackets are also appreciated. The build is straightforward. Most of these parts are tight fitting, so adult strength fingers are required for this model. This is especially the case if you misread a step and have to disassemble. I think some sub-assemblies have a less intuitive connection when attaching to the main body. Small fingers are needed here to provide support to connection points nested deep within the chassis when attaching the left and right body features, for example. I'd say this is the only area where it doesn't feel like a LEGO set. The steps when building the model are lacking the polish and finesse of LEGO's pedigree. From my recollection, when building actual LEGOs, there's a more natural progression in assembly complexity. This knockoff Lambo has some atypical flow when building the model. Attaching some some assemblies can be cumbersome at times. This is also compounded by the part bags are not all labeled. Per LEGO standards, this manual plans to use parts contained in specific numbered part bags. However, this quickly goes out the window when you're stuck searching for parts that are in unmarked bags. This can disrupt the flow of the build. I was missing one part, which is disappointing when you look at what's left over. I'm missing this L bracket on the opposite side of the car. It's tucked behind a wheel and doesn't compromise the model's integrity. I did go for the option with the RC remote and motors, which adds about $25 to the base model price. Both the motors and the battery pack work as described, including the radio control remote. The functions are tied to whatever you connect as far as the power distribution box, and those buttons will respond or move the motor forward and backward respectively. One motor is just direct drive for the wheels, the other motor is for steering, which is geared down and only has a 180 degree range of motion. This works as expected, no problems here. There are a little bit of inconsistencies with the manual as far as indicator lights to tell you what's going on with the motor, but things are pretty straightforward. You'll figure it out in a couple minutes. This motor pack definitely feels like a bolt-on as far as how it integrates with this car. It's not really geared down to supply the right amount of torque for this thing, but it is a functioning motor and everything looks to be in place as far as build quality. These parts are pretty good too. Included are some nice looking universal joints for power transmission to the steering. I'm not attaching the motors to this model as the model doesn't have enough ground clearance for traction on my carpet, so what's the point? You also have to remove the passenger seat which removes some of the aesthetic appeal of this fake Lamborghini. Overall this set is surprisingly good, like really good considering the price. Like it's good enough that I'm going to get another model like this forklift. The quality of the parts are comparable to Lego. It feels like Lego and it looks like Lego. I did not observe any bad parts. I didn't see flash left from any mold or rough edges. There's also good color uniformity between each piece. I will say there are some scuff marks from what might be the automated sorting equipment. And since these sets do not come in a box, the sticker decals were a bit wrinkled too on delivery. I did skip applying any of the stickers so you could see these parts in their true form. And I'm happy to say there are no markings of the LEGO name or brand on any of these parts. So there is solace when it comes to fairly competing with LEGO and not trying to deceive potential buyers. If you're looking to scratch the itch of some advanced LEGO Technic building, this is it. LEGO's competition has come a long way since Megablocks, and it shows. If you're just looking to build and you're not concerned about brands, I'd say give this a try. You'll probably be impressed. 
This review was not sponsored by AliExpress or the associated brick store. I was simply buying some electronic parts and got distracted and bought some imitation Legos. Hopefully this review was helpful for anybody who's on the fence. As always, thanks for watching.